Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Claire. Today, you're going to learn the what, the how, and the when of answering be present plus prepositional phrase questions. Let's start with what. What are these answers and statements used for? They are used to talk about present facts. For example, I'm at the game. Good. Now let's learn how. How do you use these answers and statements? First, know how to conjugate be present using contractions. If you want to talk about yourself, please repeat. Yes, I am. Good, let's practice the more commonly used contraction. Please repeat. Yes, I'm. If you want to talk about me, yes, you are. Once again, using the contraction, yes, you're. If you want to talk about Adam, yes, he is. Once more, using the contraction, yes, he's. If you want to talk about Joanne, yes, she is. Once more, using the contraction, yes, she's. If you want to talk about us, yes, we are. Once more, using the contraction, yes, we're. If you want to talk about them, yes, they are. Once more, using the contraction, yes, they're. We'll use the contractions during the practice video. It's very important to memorize this conjugation fluently before you start practicing video B. Finally, to build a more specific statement or answer, you can use a time reference. For example, I'm on target today, these days, right now, or a prepositional phrase. For example, I'm on target with this project for tomorrow, at the moment. Remember, we use time references to talk about time. Prepositional phrases can be used as adjectives or adverbs and are often locators. So finally, when do you use these answers and statements? You use them to talk more about people's locations. For example, I'm in Paris. I'm on the highway. I'm near Michigan Avenue. Or states, for example, I'm on duty. I'm out with friends. I'm in high school. Or emotions, for example, I'm over the moon. I'm out of my head. I'm on cloud nine. Excellent. Now let's review. First, what are be present plus prepositional phrase answers and statements used for? They are used for talking about present facts. Second, how do you use these answers and statements? You use them by knowing the conjugation of be present and building a more specific answer with the vocabulary. Third, when do you use these answers and statements? You use them to talk more about people's locations, states, or emotions. Well done. Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own answers. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Claire, and I'll see you back here soon.